This is an exercise. This is a NICO News One Alert with Kevin Tobias reporting on the status of the terrorist release of plague in Akron, Ohio. We have Allie Pace live on the scene at a hospital with some grim information. Allie, what's the latest on the scene there? Kevin, grim is the right word to describe what's going on here. As you can see by the protective gear they have on, hospital personnel are taking no chances with this biohazard, and neither are the people of the community. I estimate there are 100 people here in the hospital waiting rooms and lobby, and many more people are lined up outside wanting treatment. You know, I spoke with some people as they were arriving to the emergency department doors, and while we will not show them on the air, they were all worried about the plague or Black Death being contagious to their families. I'm here with Dr. Dillian, who is in the thick of responding to patients coming in with plague symptoms. Doctor, obviously we have a situation here, but don't want anyone to panic. What should the public do if they were at the convention or have plague symptoms? Well, I've not been in direct contact with the public health officials of the county, but we are encouraging all members of the public to, to contact their own local health departments, go online, get information there, but most of all, stay inside unless you become very ill. Now, we've heard there's a shortage of medicine, medical supplies, as well as protective gear in the region. Is that true? We're working on getting more supplies, and I can assure you that we will be able to assist any patient who comes in that door. Thank you so much, Doctor. That's all we have for now. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, thank you, Allie. Thank you, Dr. Dillian. This is Kevin Tobias, and NICO News One will provide you with more information as it becomes available. This is an exercise.